Hey everybody, this is Diane. Thank you for coming back to my channel today. Uh, we're going to do a little status report on the country uh, rustic country journals that I'm making and um, do a little work. It's uh, at the exciting part where uh, a lot of the tedious stuff is done and I get to do the fun stuff of uh, putting in pockets and filling them with ephemera and things like that. And the tedious stuff is even fun too, but I'm always glad to get to the to this stage. So I did finish the covers, um, the construction of the covers. I haven't decorated them yet, but this is the first feed sack fabric uh, or flower sack uh, fabric that we were doing. And this I did this one on camera. And I think I don't know if you saw this where I added the paper and then a strip of coffee dyed muslin in there. And this is the second one. And I added this paper inside. And last night I started doing some slow stitching on these little pieces. So these are the kinds of things that will be decorating the covers. I'm not sure where I'll put them. I thought this would be fun on a spine after I sew the signatures in to add that, but I don't know. I just don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I have to make some more. Hopefully I'll get some more made tonight and then I can decide where they're going to go. So that's um, something I'm working on. And then I, I also just did a little bit, a few stitches onto this piece. That'll be a tab. And these little pieces with the vintage tatting, um, they will be tabs also. So there's that. I can set these aside for now. As far as the signatures go, they are all up to speed with each other. Whatever I did in one journal on video, I, I did in the other one. So all of the cluster pockets are added and we did those cluster pockets on a video. And I did glue the lace to the edge did the stenciling on the white pages and and I finished all the fabric flips. We did this fabric flip on a video. And I swapped out the glassine bags as I mentioned in the other video um, for these. All I, the, the stuff was not staying glued so I just had to just pull on that and it just came right off. And then I just uh, reattach them to another kind of a bag that they're not coming off. So that's that's a good thing. Some more stenciling there. I did a little bit of stamping. And I think that's about where we are now. So, and of course we have the this ephemera that we made. And this is just, this took a lot of work getting all of these done. And this is just adding one piece of ephemera to each signature. But, so I have to make pockets to put these in. That's one of the things maybe we'll do today. I got out my box of homemade ephemera and I forgot some of the stuff that I made. So um, I also have these digitals and there's a ton of them. I don't know if I printed them twice. There's a ton of pictures here and these I've had for a really long time, even before I got the Rustic Country set. <clears throat> and this was from Nevermore Creations 17. I don't know, there's a number after. Um, and I don't even know the name of this set. I don't know if it's the same artist as <clears throat> the artist from the Rustic Country set that I'm using, but they're very similar. So I thought, well, I, I'd like to use some of these because I've got all of these printed. And I forgot that I had already gotten into that stash, just not that long ago either, to make some tags. So look at that. I've got tags ready to go into these journals. I am so happy to have these. So I've got tags. Um, I think there might have been some pockets, too, with that with those cards. Maybe not. Oh, here's a couple. Though these, yeah, those are pockets. And that's a pocket. So 
I will definitely be using them in these journals. And then I just pulled a bunch of other things that would work. I like these little booklets for these journals. I might use those. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff I can choose from for adding ephemera. I love this one. So I guess there's another tag. Let's um, stop talking and get to work. I have some more cards left over. I mean, they're not left over, but they're still left to use. This is not from this digital kit, but I like that. <clears throat> I think it came with that, whatever that set was. I don't even know what it is. But I have all these pieces that came with the digital kit. And a couple of little envelopes that I would like to tuck into a pocket. These came with the kit. These are photographs <clears throat> of flowers. So I want to make sure I use some of these pieces. So I think the first thing we need to do is create a pocket for these larger pieces. I did add a pocket. Yeah, I found this in my homemade ephemera stash too, so I added that. I took out the cards that were in it because I didn't like them. This was in it, but I and I left that. The other cards I took out just because they didn't go with the theme, and I added these pieces. And in the other journal, I used a library pocket that, I, that was in my stash. So now, we need to find, maybe I'll put something on the back page here. this would be too small so I'll make a pocket for one of those tags here or I'll just use one of these little pockets here no I want to make a pocket to put one of these tags in I guess we can do that first this page is cut smaller <clears throat> than the other pages so that's a good good page for the tag that yellowish background blends in with that. There's another one with the yellowish background. How about this one? That looks good. And I could probably put a journaling card in here also. But what will I make the pocket out of? show you what else I found. I got out my old, my vintage photographs and I thought I don't know if I'll find anything that would go well with this journal, but look at all this. I've got some really great pictures, like look at this. This is really old. It's just a winter scene outdoors. So there's some outdoor scenes. There's a, a lady, maybe she's picking fruit. I don't know what kind of tree that is, but she's on a ladder and a lady in her garden, a gentleman, a lady with a hoe. Aren't these great? There's a little outbuilding. These are old, old pictures. Like, I don't know how old. I got these last year. There's a lady holding up. Okay, I think something. Look at that lady in the crook of the tree. So I definitely want to use these pictures. And I was thinking I could use some of these um, on a pocket, like decorating a pocket. There's a couple of little children playing outdoors. So I just need some cardstock or something here. Uh, I just want a solid color. And I'd rather use 
cut off pieces. If I can find something that will work like this. Let's make this four and a half. I'll make it four and three quarters just to see. Three quarters was a little too big. Oh, I cut it more than four and three quarters. There, that does work. All right, I'm, I want to leave the corners on. There are only three corners left, but I want to leave them. Maybe a thin piece of handmade paper behind the picture. I have to find what drawer it's in. Okay. I've got it right here in this room, but I've got to label my drawers. I, I've been working when I have time on getting things labeled in here. I just just yesterday did some labeling, but not on that. Okay, I think. I don't want anything too th thick. But maybe this. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to tear it. This came out of a some kind of a journal. I think somebody gave that to me in a Happy Mail, actually. The journal.
I should probably sew this on because I'm doing a lot of sewing with brown thread. I think I'll probably stitch around that, but not in this video, because I'm not at my sewing machine. And that will go in there, and maybe one of the cards will go in there. I'll just clip all this stuff to the page. that pocket so I think I will make a pocket here for one of these pieces <clears throat> uh, and I think I will use a fabric and again I'll have to do it at my sewing machine get a piece the right size. I will put some lace up there and hopefully that will fit in there. Maybe I need to make the fabric a tad wider. Listen, this isn't as thick as that one, so maybe that would, because it wouldn't bulk it up as much. Where'd my other piece go? a wider piece and that should fit nicely in there. I'll pick out some lace for that. quite a lot of this and I like it. 
think I'll just glue that on instead of using brown thread. And I'll sew it there. And this will go in the pocket. Do I have one, two, three, four, five? I need one more. I can make one with that. So I guess I can go ahead and choose a place. I've got a little pocket there and a pocket here. And on the back side of the journal, I have a pocket there and a pocket here. So they're evenly divided, two pockets on the front half and two pockets on the back half. good place to put one right here. Those could be pockets too, little tuck spots. There's a tag. I just have these little journaling spots stamped on craft paper. I do have a card from the kit tucked into these little pockets.
And I just want maybe a couple of small pockets to put some of the little things, like the little envelope. Because I only have one envelope for each journal. Um, and I'd like to tuck a photograph in something too. I have enough photographs. This is a little girl standing on a stump with a chicken. <laughs> I'd like to just glue that to the page. It is just so awesome. And have some, some kind of a small pocket there. I'm thinking. I want to use one of these. I don't think so. I'm going to glue this down because I'm pretty sure I, well, I guess I have to be very sure that I want that there. I just love it. working in a big mess here. Typical. So I'm going to sew that with a zigzag stitch or a fancy stitch with brown thread and then I can tuck that in there and one of these cards. And I might want a word on that. have to look for a word to put there. But I think that's what I'll do. I will sew that and then I'll glue it to the page. And I think that'll be cute. And I think that that's probably enough pockets for one signature, don't you? But I could do some stamping. So instead of you watching me do the same thing, or very similar things in other signatures. I gotta wipe this glue off. Let's do a little stamping.
stamp on every page. I have this weathered strip. And this came with a Stampin' Up! set. I think it came with that and this. Let me, I'm going to stamp that on scrap paper and see what we think of it. Let's try it in crumb cake. That's pretty pale. It's a Stampin' Up! color. It's a little too pale. So, how about soft suede? sticking very well. Okay. Oh, that's dark. Okay. We'll do second generation stamping. Got this little block with oak leaves and acorns. And I think I need to stamp something on this green page. Hmm. Ooh, how about some of this? This. this is a Stampin' Up! one. And this little label y thing. This is the old Stampin' Up! type of stamp that doesn't have enough, it doesn't stick. So I just use a little glue stick. The new ones are very sticky. They fix their problem. <laughs> Using the same soft suede. Should have taken those tags out first.
Well, I got it. I dropped it there, and then I got some there. So I'm going to stamp it on a separate piece of paper and glue it to fix that. paper. It's a little bigger than I wanted, but I'm not going to fuss with hunting for something. <clears throat> Darn it. That turned out nice. Now, because I dropped it here, and so the the marks are out, would be outside of the line here, I, I can't just cut around that and glue it down unless I put like some homemade paper behind it. I could do that. complicated. It's a little bigger than I want. <coughs> that is going to work. And then we'll recap what what we've done in this signature that I'll have to replicate in the other signatures.
and I'll use different stamps in the other signatures too. They won't all be the same. All right. Here's the signature that I've been working on. This goes right in the center. pocket here with an adorable photograph I love this cow. This packet, which the packets are already made, all I have to do is glue it down. And these pieces are already made. This is the only tag I have like this, but I have other tags and journaling cards, as you may have seen, that I can include some stamping. A glued on photograph and a little pocket. I do have some other elements that I will probably glue down somewhere like this little scenery picture. I love that. <clears throat> or that could get tucked into a tiny pocket. Uh, there's only one of these. Maybe there's two labels. I think there's one with a pumpkin on it. It came with the kit. So, and maybe these. Oh yeah, there's the one with the pumpkin and these framed pictures. So those things will be added as embellishments. So we're getting there. I don't have pockets on all of the pages, all the signatures like these, so I'll have to add something there. And then the fabric pocket. And that's what I have to do in the other journals or signatures. And then, whoops, sorry. And then I have to um, finish decorating the covers and sew everything together. But we're coming along very nicely. So I'm thinking probably the next video you see will be the final flip through. I don't think I'll be doing anything else on camera. But I do thank you for coming with me today. And I hope you'll come back to see the finished product since we've come so far. Let's see how this fits into the cover. Because we've got it pretty well full. We're, we'll be sticking some more stuff in there to fatten it up. And there's still room. See, there's still lots of room. Because we did give it a two and a half inch spine. But yeah, I think it's going to be a really, really fun journal. And I love the way it feels with that little bit of batting under this soft vintage fabric. It's nice. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a creative day today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.